What is it that you want to be a part of that's greater than you? Besides the FBI, the biggest example that I use of this is 1980 US Olympic ice hockey team. Because this team was a bunch of kids from rival schools who hated each other. But they came together during the Cold War, a downturn economy in the US, to play a Russian team that had literally dominated that sport for 20 years. And in fact, that team had beat the Americans 10 to 1 13 days before they faced each other in Lake Placid in the Olympics. That game just wasn't a game. It wasn't about beating the Russians. It was something that gave us hope. It went beyond that because if they could come together and do the impossible, so could we as a country. There was hope that the Cold War would end. There was hope that our economy would turn around. And that was the biggest thing that this team did. They didn't just win a hockey game. They gave us hope. They went beyond just their individual needs. And for me, that is the key of being a part of something greater, of having a calling. And I had the pleasure of going to Lake Placid recently. And I'm going to leave this up after we're done. But I brought back a memento, which has Herbs Brooks' actual speech on there that he used before that game. And if you haven't heard it, you haven't read it, I would come up and take a look, see what he said to inspire those, those boys to play that game and to be for me, the greatest moment in sports history, not only in the 20th century, but throughout all of time. Being a part of something greater, being a part of a calling, that for me is the greatest thing that you can do as an individual in what you're working with, who you work for, the impact that you're trying to make. 